Hello, Maranatha Bible Chapel. Uh, we want to uh, give you an update with regards to the coronavirus in our Sunday morning service here on March 15th, this Sunday. Um, uh, and also related to New York State's gathering size requirements and that announcement that took place yesterday. We are in line with New York State's meeting size requirements uh, as we gather on Sunday morning. Uh, here's what we are uh, going to do after elders, pastor, and district staff discussion and input put in prayer. We are going to uh, have our service this Sunday because we feel that Jesus is worthy of our worship and our praise and our fellowship together with one another. So here's what we're going to ask. If you have respiratory issues, a cold or a cough, or you're just feeling uh, sick and not well, if you have little ones that you're concerned about uh, related to their exposure, if you're elderly and you have respiratory issues and may be compromised, we're going to encourage you to stay at home and as quickly as we possibly can we're going to place our audio and our video of the service online so that you can participate online with that upload when we get that done we are also examining the opportunities of going to live stream and to be able to live stream our video of the service online and that may not happen uh, this week uh, hopefully we might be able to do something like that in uh, the weeks to follow but we'll keep you updated on that we are going to make some adjustments to our worship service and our gathering this sunday specifically in our greeting we're going to ask you to uh, refrain from greeting one another like we typically do with hugs and uh, handshakes and and like that um, we're going to try to avoid uh, those contact uh, 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 things that we do on Sunday morning uh, when you come in and during the morning service. Um, we're also going to be adjusting some of the other things that we do during the service. Um, uh, we're going to take up our offering differently than we have uh, in the past. We're going to station offering plates at the door so that uh, if you want to worship with your offering, uh, you'll be able to place uh, that offering and offering plates as you exit the service at the end of the service. We've made some changes to our kids program for this week. Um, and again, we're going to give you more updates as we go. But this week, there'll be no nursery program or children's program downstairs. We're going to invite you to have your children sitting with you uh, in this morning's service. Um, there may be some other minor adjustments, but uh, this is what we're planning uh, for this week. And then we'll give you more information in the weeks to come. Now, taking a play out of uh, my salesman's playbook, um, and one of uh, the verses that are some verses that I've been wrestling with quite regularly here, uh, James chapter 1, uh, where James says, Count it all joy, my brethren, when you face many trials. Um, uh, my salesman's background tells me problems are opportunities. Paul reminded Timothy in his second letter to Timothy, he said to him that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. We have a unique opportunity as the church of Jesus Christ um, to point people uh, away from fear and anxiousness and to love and hope in Jesus Christ and in the kingdom of God. May Jesus be glorified in our witness as we handle uh, going through uh, this problem of the coronavirus. And uh, I look forward to our worship gathering this Sunday as we fellowship with one another. Blessings and peace, Pastor Scott.